Hi, Taylor T. Carlson here, and as you probably know, there are remastered reissues of Sailor Moon coming out on Blu-ray right now, but today we're actually not going to be taking a look at a Blu-ray version of the series. We're going to be taking a look at a much older release that I came across used in Zia Records here in Vegas. The set I'm referring to is the Doom Tree series. This is from the old English Deke dub. And it's the saga that starts off the second season of the series. If you're familiar at all with Dragon Ball Z and all the you know, random filler segments that series has had, in a way you might call this Sailor Moon's Garlic Jr. saga. But I'm going to do an unboxing of this release. I'll talk a little about the Old English dub, these episodes, what you need to know, and if this is a set you might want to track down if you're a fan of the series or the old dub. So first of all, we have the spines of the four VHS tapes that make up the series. Four tapes. Each one has three episodes, except the first tape has four episodes for a total of 13 episodes that make up this arc. Here's the top with the Sailor Moon logo on it. Bottom with the legalese and barcode. Side of the box. Back of the box with a description of the content. Other side of the box. Now, one thing these uh, Sailor Moon sets and individual releases were infamous for back in the day was that the artwork they had on them was often, despite being nice artwork, very inaccurate. Like right here, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's one of Zoysite's plant monsters from the first season, which has no place here. And what are they all doing in this picture? They're doing this thing where they're like shooting white energy out of their hands. Not an attack they ever actually use on the show. Funnily enough, this actually resembles Tuxedo Mask's smoking bomber attack from the manga, and of course later featured in Sailor Moon Crystal. But ironically, it's an attack that was not used in the anime, and similarly enough, not used by any of these characters in any media. Let's take a look at the individual tapes in here. First, I'll read the contents of the set as we see on the back here. Sailor Moon, the Doom Tree series, now available on video for the first time. One complete adventure, four exciting volumes, 13 continuous episodes, over four and a half hours of non-stop action, starring Sailor Moon and all your favorite Sailor Scouts, great new villains and many more incredible surprises. In Sailor Moon, the Doom Tree series, Serena meets Alan and Anne, two schoolmates who pass themselves off as brother and sister. Little does Serena know that the couple has a horrible secret. They've been sent by the Nega Force to steal the Earth's energy and feed it to a mysterious doom tree. When Alan and Anne call upon a string of hideous creatures to help them, Sailor Moon and her scouts are called into action, and it turns out to be their biggest and most awesome adventure ever. I could think of several things wrong with that last sentence, but let's take a look at the individual tapes that are in here while we're at it. Again, this consists of four tapes. Got my receipt from Zia here. This cost me $20 used. There's my price tag right there. Here's tape number one. There's the inner side of that, top of the tape. Here's a look at what the actual VHS tapes themselves look like. The info is just printed on the tape. There's not a label, but it does have the Sailor Moon logo there, and that's pretty cool. I'm not going to show off the individual actual tapes for each of these because they all pretty much look the same. And the description on here pretty much matches what it says on the outer box. Tape 1 includes the episodes The Return of Sailor Moon, So You Want to Be in Pictures, A Night to Remember, and VR Madness. Here's tape 2. This tape features the episodes Cherry Blossom Time, Kindergarten Chaos, Much Ado About Babysitting, Volume 3. This tape includes the episodes Ray's Day in the Spotlight, Food Fetish, Mirror Mirror on the Wall. And then we have the fourth and final tape. And this one includes the episodes Detention Doldrums, Secret Garden, and Treed. Like I said, this was essentially an anime-only filler saga for Sailor Moon. 
bridging the gap between the first major arc, which was season one, and then the second major arc, which makes up most of the second season, which introduces both the characters of Chibiusa and the Black Moon family. So this was pretty much created as a filler arc to bridge those two gaps because Naoko Takeuchi was still writing the manga of Sailor Moon R, the second arc at the time. The English dub of Sailor Moon certainly shows its age in many regards. These, of course, are the versions that aired on TV, so they are dub only and edited for content. The old English dub introduced me to the show, so I will give it credit for that. I will give it credit for the things that it does right. Like, most of the voice actors they recruited are pretty good and appropriate for their characters. They use an original musical score rather than using the original Japanese one. And there are a few insert songs that actually aren't half bad. While I would have preferred to have the original Japanese music, the English score and songs they use are actually very good and they are used pretty appropriately throughout the series. There are, of course, issues with the English dub, aside from being edited. One thing being, they added in these really bad-looking CGI scene transitions, I guess, to try to make the show look hip and modern. There were a lot of, you know, cultural changes, just because, you know, apparently a lot of people in America aren't aware of certain cultural elements of Japan. Personally, I think that stuff should always be left intact and maybe explained to the viewer. Likewise, there are a handful of voice actors and actresses who weren't really well chosen for their parts. For instance, Luna the Cat talks like a, an old British nanny in this, and Naru, Sailor Moon's human friend, who they call Molly in the dub, she talks with this really bad fake New York accent. Luckily, most of the casting's pretty good, but those are hard to ignore. The edits for content, I guess, are somewhat understandable, given that this was marketed towards children and so forth. The older Deke dub tends to be a little more heavily edited than later dubs of the show. There was an edited dub of the third and fourth seasons done by a company called Cloverway, and that aired on Cartoon Network. That actually used the original Japanese music and had fewer edits, so it was a step in the right direction. And Viz is actually doing the show a great service now with the remastered DVDs and Blu-rays they're putting out that have a whole new dub that's more accurate to the original. It is fun to revisit these episodes. This is kind of a forgettable story arc that doesn't have a whole lot of impact on the grand scheme of things. I really don't like how they tried to rewrite it for the dub, saying that these two main villains in this saga came from the same place that the first season's villains did, because they're actually unrelated and have nothing to do with one another but I guess they feel like all the villains apparently have to be related for some reason. Why that is, I have no idea. But still, you know, Sailor Moon is Sailor Moon, and I love going back and revisiting it. Like I said, the dub is what introduced me to the show, and that's why I did enjoy getting to go back and revisit these episodes in their original English dub format. I paid about 20 bucks for this set used, which isn't half bad given what some old VHS tapes and sets go for. If you come across this used for a bargain, you might want to buy it. It's a cool little collector's item. I don't think they did any other like VHS box sets like this for Sailor Moon, so it's certainly cool in that regard. I mean, there were several tapes released when the Deke dub was coming out. Most of those just had two episodes per tape. There were some later like reissued tapes that had more of the old dub episodes per tape. And if I ever get any of those, I'll certainly show them off and cover them on here. I also got some of the older uncut DVD sets of Seasons 1 and 2, so I'll be doing unboxings and coverage for those in the coming weeks, as well as, of course, as Viz releases them, the newer remastered Blu-ray box set. Are you a fan of Sailor Moon, and what do you think of the old English Deke dub? Which voice cast do you prefer? How do you feel about the Doom Tree saga? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel for more context. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. See you next time.